Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well in our last video we showed you how to build your own custom global header. Today in this video we're going to sh show you how to download one of the free ones that are on the Elegant Themes site. We'll show you how to download it and install it. So we're going to turn our little header right here into the one that they've got right here. So go over to Elegant Themes and go to their blog. And there's a whole load of them in the blog. I've got a coffee shop run here. And once you've found the one that you like the look of, go down, hit the get it for free button. You may be asked to confirm your email address, but there's no email involved in this. Once you download it, it downloads to your browser. So if I hit the download files here, it's going to download it to my desktop right there. So what you want to do is navigate to your downloads folder. It'll be a zip file, so you want to unzip it. And it'll unzip as a JSON file right there. OK, once you've got it unzipped as a JSON file, what we need to do is go to our Divi Builder and down to the library. So let's close these up and I'll show you exactly how to get there. I'm going to go down to my dashboard. I'm going to go down to Divi. I'm going to go to Theme Builder. This is where we built our custom global header. Now today we're going to import this one. So what we need to do is go up to these double arrows on the right hand side here, portability. And then we want to say import. Then we want to find the file, which is right here, the JSON file we extracted just now, and drag it over. There it is right there. If you're worried about overriding styles, just uncheck that. And if you don't want it to override any existing assignments, uncheck that. I'm going to leave both of mine checked. I'm going to drag my JSON file over, just drop it in there, or you can browse to it if you want to. I'm going to say import Divi Theme Builder template. And there we are, it's assigned it to our global header automatically. Let's save our changes here. If we go to our site, it's still got our old one up there. Let's refresh this. Roll on down, there's our new one. Obviously we don't want to put our regular logo in there and assign it your own menu and link for your button there. So to do that, once you've got a global header, you can do it all from the front end with the visual builder. We'll roll up here, we'll say edit header template. I want to go into that little menu module there, the cog. And choose the menu, it's got to be one that's saved to your menus in your dashboard there. If you don't know how to do that, have a look at our how to create menus video. Top's fine for me, so I've got the right menu there. But I do want to put my logo in rather than Divi logo. So let's go down to logo, we'll trash that one. We'll add our own. It's a dark background, so I'll use a light logo. And my logo's come in as way too big there, but that's fine. Let's just go over to design, down to sizing. Here we've got logo width. You can just shrink it down to the size that you want it. So all the menu items fit in there nicely. I think something like that should work. Save it when you're happy. And you can go into the button and obviously put whatever link you want to put in there for your button and change the text however you want. As you can see, that's all in there. When you're happy, you can simply save. Let's save the page changes and exit the visual builder. And there we are, we've got a perfectly new header and that'll be across all the pages. Here it is on our services page. And the about page. At the moment it's a static header, so when we roll up the page, it's going to disappear off the top, which is fine. But if you want to make it sticky, it's really easy. Let's enable the visual builder again. We'll go into our header once more into the header template and we've got two sections there so let's go into these sections 
over to advanced scroll effects and I'm simply going to make them stick to the top and I'm going to do the same for the one underneath advanced scroll effects stick to top when you're happy save your changes we'll save our page changes and exit the visual builder now when we roll down the page our menu is staying at the top for us there so there you go guys there's how to import one of the free header templates from the Divi Elegant Themes site and remember just go to elegantthemes.com just roll down to the bottom I found it under Divi resources right here so there you go guys I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again this has been jamie from system 22 and reddesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day